वेलकम टू हैप्पीनेस विद हेमा अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग होलिस्टिक वेलनेस टॉक फन चिट चैट विद माय फ्रेंड जीनी वी आर सो ऑनर्ड टू हैव इन आवर शो दिस स्पेशल गेस्ट शी टेक्स प्राइड इन प्रैक्टिसिंग अ होलिस्टिक लाइफस्टाइल एंड माइंडफुलनेस शी इज द स्टार ऑफ अ यूट्यूब चैनल हैप्पीनेस विद हेमा लेट्स ऑल वेलकम हेमा हाय हेमा Hello. <laughs> And it's such a pleasure to have you in the show. Thank you for making time. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm quite humbled and uh, because the topic is so great, you're doing such good mm-hmm. work here. I'm very passionate about self-care. So it's a yeah. wonderful topic to like have a chit-chat on. I've been following you. That's why I had you as a guest because I know you can uh spread more awareness and make them more inspired in doing so i think it's better if you tell us more about yourself and how you've been into this holistic lifestyle okay first of all hi everyone whoever is watching <laughs> <laughs> thanks jenny for bringing me here mm-hmm. so i am hema dadwal and um, i hail from north india and uh, from last 12 years singapore is my home i'm staying here with my family and mm-hmm. uh, basically i am in a education line and i'm very lucky to uh, i have like specialty to deal with from age 3 to age 90 90 it's not 90 oh. okay <laughs> yeah because uh, my, from last couple of few years back uh, i just uh, you know uh, from teaching line when i shifted to volunteer line i was dealing with this age group so it was like oh. till 90 plus year i am very like um, uh, lucky and like i'll feel very privileged that i mm-hmm. really gel well with the older and the younger yes. and my age of course <laughs> so it was a beautiful uh, experience to work with the elderly also that was my this uh, mental health organization where i was working as a volunteer and then for one year i worked for, as a full time staff there and it was a beautiful uh, learning journey holistic lifestyle coming back like this i am actually uh, jiri it's uh, it's like we are living whole life you know i have seen my parents yes. doing it but yes when you are oh. in teenage or when you are like you know growing up you are there yes. you are doing it because they are telling you to do you don't want to uh-huh. do it but you are doing it but then you know slowly slowly when you grow up you become mature and you understand that oh my god it was such a beautiful thing they were telling me to do you know so my parents thanks to my parents they have always introduced this thing so uh-huh. but consciously with awareness i am doing this holistic lifestyle from last 15 uh-huh. years oh that's yeah. a long time <laughs> yeah it's so, uh, but then i feel that i missed out so much of time in between when i was like resisting you know you know when you're growing up no i don't do it i don't uh, like so, it <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now from last 15 years I'm practicing mm-hmm. and it's a wonderful and a beautiful um and I'm very passionate that I mm-hmm. I'm in a quest that everyone should learn about it and mm-hmm. they also do you know if it's doing good for me it's definitely going to be good for everyone so it's it's a quest to like you know ev- to make everyone a better version of themselves. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So I'm sure this uh question is Uh, for me being such a naive in my mind but then i'd like to check <laughs> does holistic lifestyle have something to do with being holy you know holistic holy or being spiritual i'm pretty sure some of the viewers would also like like to know but then you know they're shy asking so here sure, i am sure. <laughs> yeah it's wonderful to bring it up yeah because you know yes holistic life is nothing to do with the you know religion for me like what is holistic life is it focuses on the whole balance so it mm-hmm. focus on your mental health your physical health and your spirit, like your uh, you know inner health so inner it health. aligns that uh, yeah so it's a balance mm-hmm. between harmony between this and it focus on the overall aspect of life like oh. the way how you eat how you drink mm-hmm. how you sleep how you think so the basic the key point actually to the uh, uh, holistic lifestyle is awareness mm-hmm. you are leading a normal life but you are more uh-huh. aware you are aware, aware of what you are in yes you are more aware you are more mindful so i mm-hmm. nowadays like you know it's a new term mindfulness 
it's just uh-huh. so you're yeah. aware yeah you're more aware yeah, of yeah, whatever yeah. you're doing it so mm-hmm. while eating are you eating with awareness while drinking mm-hmm. are you you know so so when you're leading a holistic life you're more aware you're enjoying every moment so mm-hmm. it's not just holy holy it's like overall yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does this holistic lifestyle have uh, differ from other lifestyles? So so how does holistic lifestyle differ from it? So see other life is like when we are leading a normal life or we are not in awareness we are just being in a automated mode. Okay? Mm-hmm. So we mm-hmm. we are we are behaving through our habits. You know, if I become a okay. make a habit of you know eating late so i'm just uh-huh. you know my body is tuned with so it's like a automated mode so when oh. you are living a holistic life you're more aware you you a lot of time and you do it consciously on that time and when you're doing it then you are whole heartedly there oh. yeah. so it's actually oh, a normal it. life but yeah with a more awareness more it's, awareness okay yes, okay thank you for idea. clarifying that <laughs> okay can could you tell us more about How do you practice this holistic lifestyle? What your practice is all about? Yes, so, so Jenny, uh, I feel uh, like uh, what I do is I am very watchful that whatever I'm doing every moment. So I be in present moment. That's like the must, you know. Mm. So other than that, I'm following many holistic practices, which is being you know are done by you know our old age people used to do it for the cleansing for all that, you know. so i include all these practices in my mm-hmm. lifestyle so like oh. you know i ha- i do jal niti i do oil pulling i uh-huh. include yeah i include meditation i include deep breathing so all these i include in my lifestyle mm-hmm. okay very yeah. nice my next question what does self care mean to you and what the and how does this being holistic align with it well for me actually self care is a top most priority everyone should keep it it might mm-hmm. sound very you know some people feel that oh being a, like taking self care means like you are selfish so no uh-huh. self care is not at all selfish first of all take this mm-hmm. out from the you know mind self care mm-hmm. is such a beautiful thing if everyone take care of themselves you know the world is going yeah. to be beautiful place to live in right yes yeah. exactly but i can tell you why why it is so important because you know if i am able to take care of myself mm-hmm. physically mentally and spiritually you know completely yeah. i can take care of myself then yeah. i am i am in a very good capacity to help so many other around right yes don't ask don't be a beggar in your life be a mm-hmm. giver so if you want something just be that first you know so mm-hmm. if, like i want happiness don't run after mm-hmm. happiness but be happy be and happy. then do your chores do your work and then mm-hmm. you see your work is going to be so beautiful it will definitely flourish but you will be content so mm-hmm. yes so holistic lifestyle teaches me this thing also that self care mm-hmm. is very important not mm-hmm. just for myself it's a good mm-hmm. gift to me of course mm-hmm. if i'm taking a good care of myself i am yeah. giving a biggest gift in this world i'm taking yeah. care of my this you know this uh nature have given me this body mind yeah, yeah. i'm taking good i'm looking after that it means mm-hmm. i'm a good capacity and i will be yeah. capable of taking many others with oh. full efficiency mm-hmm. yeah. yes, because yes, you know yes. jenny in a day to day life we all are actually thinking that we are taking care of this we are doing this we have this responsibility but while doing those responsibilities everyone is like you know drained out mm-hmm. yeah with that drained you know it's like your mobile is totally drained and no no battery yeah. left and then you are trying to talk uh-huh. with that so you know your body is also so you need to fill yeah. yourself yeah you need to fill yourself with the self care take care of yourself fill yourself completely and then go ahead and do your responsibilities yes That's- this uh, this actually happens i i don't know i feel because maybe because i'm a woman i'm a mother but the usual thing that women and especially mothers do is you know be a martyr and give 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 for the kids for the hobby for the everything give but then 
we forget about them yeah nothing is left yes. <laughs> and without no. thinking that without mm. filling up our cup first then how could we give more for them yeah it's yes. very important to put that in mind yes. definitely yes, yes, if yes. you keep this thing yeah that's what the small little awareness that no i have to fill myself because i want to give to my loved ones you know yes. just this small awareness mm-hmm. can really do wonders to your life yes. if you yes. can remember right. this and day. keep filling yes <laughs> yeah 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 mm. okay what is one thing that you of all the holistic practices that you do what is one thing that you would keep if you can only keep one that will be of course the, i would love to do because all the practices doesn't take much of time and it's just mm-hmm. i do it and i feel very rejuvenated but <laughs> yeah. if it is only a one thing which i want to follow that will be meditation you know so that mm-hmm. is like you know going in silence yeah because i feel when you connect with your own core Mm-hmm. And then you come out in this you are more yeah. better version you know you are able to mm-hmm. you are more calmer you are more complete you are more happy so mm-hmm. i think that one thing will be meditation really? <laughs> very good <laughs> nice nice okay for our next question what's your thoughts on women who would like to start practicing a holistic life lifestyle and any tips for them as they make the transition but my question is why only women oh, okay <laughs> think, everyone yeah, everyone yeah it should be for even the kids i think you know okay. uh, jenny i am in like you know i'm thinking to start a holistic boot camp for the kids also because i think since from the childhood if we in, in gross this you know small little habits yes. for the kids you yes, know like yes. when they are small we say oh sleep on time we say brush mm-hmm. your teeth you know and they know mm-hmm. that they have to do this if we introduce these holistic practices also okay before going to bed let's do oil pulling okay do jal niti or let's sit for the meditation you know if we make it a mm-hmm. practice in daily yes, life yes. like when the kids are you know in an impressionable age i think yes it's going to be beautiful you know so i'm that's yes. my plan future plan let's see finger cross how oh, i'd like to and to join my kids in that but come they will they will be more welcome <laughs> yeah. so so coming back to yeah for the females and males everyone my these mm-hmm. two tips like they have to keep two things in mind their morning routine and their night routine but if you want to like you to reset your button so reset with the night routine now with the right night routine to make sure that you are going uh, you are eating your food uh before sunset is not possible because you know normally it is like uh ideally it should be before sunset mm-hmm. so it is around it is around 6:30 7:30 you know you eat your dinner so if that is too early i understand in nowadays time because you know your offices are there and everything yes. try to try to finish your dinner by 8 o'clock 8:00 at mm-hmm. the max why mm-hmm. because you know our body is when it is at night body is sleeping the body is mm-hmm. doing a big work you know holistic mm-hmm. lifestyle also says that let the bo- let the you know body do it work naturally then mm-hmm. the beautiful yeah then your health will be in a beautiful shape so at the night time your body is repairing you know and mm-hmm. if you are eating late your body mm-hmm. is da- doing the work of digestion so the when is the repair work happen it is gone time is gone mm-hmm. you know so that's why eat your dinner on time before mm. before 8:30 try to eat the, your dinner that is the first mm-hmm. practice you can follow second practice before going to bed try to you know uh, write some journal don't give so much of stimulus to your mind you know some suspense thriller movie you're watching mm-hmm. some toxic news is your you know world news mm-hmm. and all that so try mm-hmm. not to give it at the night time because your mind you, otherwise your mind will be in a beta mode you know in a very active mode and your yeah. body because it is tired will be sleeping but your mind will be active so the repair yeah. work repair work will be not uh, you know mm-hmm. complete it will be like incomplete work so it's like yeah. it's like you have plugged in your uh, you know uh, mobile for charging but mm-hmm. you forget to switch it on you know it will be like yeah. that and in the morning it will be like oh my god it's empty <laughs> so it's very important to not give a very you know uh, exciting stimulus to your mind at the night time mm-hmm. so write a journal is a good thing 
why it's a good thing because you are you are taking out all the emotions you're not keeping anything bottled up okay mm-hmm. so if you write it down you express everything there it's gone it's like there you know? yeah. yes all else then 5 minute of meditation you know just go in mm-hmm. silence and do meditation do breathing mm-hmm. exercise you know you just breathe and and then go to sleep so you like prepare your body for the repair work mm-hmm. so it's very mm-hmm. important so this night routine number mm-hmm. one eat your food on time before 8:30 number mm-hmm. two don't give a heavy stimulus mobile the media and all that mm-hmm. try avoid mm-hmm. giving it after yeah after 9 or 10 don't give anything like that to your mind and mm-hmm. write a journal or meditate or breathing exercise before going to bed so that mm-hmm. your body is doing its work beautifully by itself because beauty body knows you know body is a very mm-hmm. uh, beautiful uh, you know that uh, machine which god have created they know yes. how to work it but you have to give a yeah. time to that you know so that is a nice mm-hmm. routine so then the repair work will happen and in the morning you will be fresh and rejuvenated because your you know mm-hmm. other wear and tear has been taken care now in the morning yes, time yes. but for myself i wake up i straight away drink three glass of water you know and my stomach clear you know because that's very mm-hmm. important to cleanse your and then i do little bit of breathing and i do jal niti jal niti again uh, if you want to know detail you can uh, watch my youtube video it's a cleansing process mm-hmm. to get rid of all the in, all the virus or any infection entering your body so jal niti is a very old age practice so they used to do it to be uh, like away from all the illnesses you know all the disease and all okay. and nowadays you know because of corona and all that everybody is like oh my yes. god i you know they are very worried about so this kind yeah. of practices like jal niti mm-hmm. is just a two minute practice it's just a two minute practice but okay. it can it can give you a uh, immunity yes. boost yeah so it can boost yes. your yes. immunity because you are you yes. cleansing your that part no virus is going to be stay there so i do my mm-hmm. jal niti followed with the breathing because that is a part of that so i do my jal mm-hmm. niti after that with the breathing and breathing uh, it ends with the this kapal bhati or uh, this um, you know we call it um, bhastrika which is in english they call it skull shining breathing exercise so that oh. you know rejuvenates you charges you so mm. you're ready for the day and then i take one spoon of uh, uh, oil in my mouth i get ready and uh-huh. i take one uh, spoon of oil in my mouth and i do oil pulling so jini uh, okay. oil pulling practice is also a beautiful practice which it's a gut cleansing practice so it's like it cleans your gut you know normally mm-hmm. in our mouth there are a lot of germs and in uh-huh. stomach also so it pulls out all the germs and micro germs from your mouth and it is a practice which you do it for 20 minutes just put the oil in your mouth coconut oil or any any oil which you are comfortable with kind of i oil. do it mm-hmm. any oil olive oil any oil mm-hmm. which you like like the flavor of i like uh, coconut oil so i put one uh, spoon of oil squish keep it squishing in your mouth yeah like mm-hmm. like gargling like gargling yeah mm-hmm. you're just mm-hmm. doing that so you are now not mm-hmm. only cleaning your gut but you're also uh, you know uh, doing a face yoga because oh uh, yeah so your face yoga <laughs> is happening morning, that's, that's very good <laughs> right yes exercising your muscles in exercising your face you. because you know nowadays we hardly no one is like uh, talking no one is because you are all the time on phone and your face is like drooping you know so yeah. this gives you opportunity to <laughs> exercise your <laughs> yes it's yes, lift yes. your face like anything so uh, i do this then i put the oil on my mouth i put some drops on my uh, back of my hand and i take that and i massage my face that is also must for me yes i give oh, a coconut yeah. massage yes mm-hmm. and uh, uh, sometime like uh, uh, ice uh, facials i give my morning ice ice facial also just take a ice you know all ice these cube. Uh, ice cube yeah i just put a, an ice cube actually i especially make it with a rose water or something you know you keep you can make a ice cubes of that and then this morning mm-hmm. scrub it in your face nicely gently uh-huh. and your face you know all the inflammation or all the uh, anything like you know it's just uh, freshen up your face and then yeah. put the oil yeah and then massage it with the oil coconut oil because it's coconut oil is the best moisturizer 
and gently mm-hmm. give a just a minute massage and then i head mm-hmm. for gym there i do my some uh, you know exercises because yes. they say movement is medicine we must give this gift to mm-hmm. ourselves of movement mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. all these processes actually a self care process but that makes yeah. me ready for uh, it fills me up mm-hmm. you know it charges me up yeah <laughs> yes 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 and it uh, everything except of, uh, of course for the gym uh, for the exercise in the gym takes less than like 5 minutes uh, or yes. less right my jalniti takes only a minute one minute it's uh-huh. a one minute practice you know you try bring the water from here to here and the breathing uh-huh. exercise take another 5 minutes then uh-huh. oil pulling take 20 minutes but then i keep it and then i do my other chores as well uh-huh. it's not that you know when you're doing oil but pulling you're you not just doing it you can do other things <laughs> yes you can do other chores but if you, yeah. i'm doing this consciously i am uh-huh. helping my boosting my immunity you know so oh, all wow. these things yeah that's what i'm saying the you know the conscious mind is the key mm-hmm. you have to be consciously mm-hmm. aware that yes i want to give this time to myself mm-hmm. look after your themselves in a you know beauty wise also because how you look and all that so all these mm-hmm. factors of you know putting eyes on your face or doing face yoga or making mm-hmm. awareness that how i'm like not my face is not like drooping down and i'm smiling a bit you mm-hmm. know so all these small things uh, things you if you keep in mind you are actually mm-hmm. doing nothing but you are doing favor on yourself Mm-hmm. or that whenever you are drinking water and when you are eating food be mindful there as well because when you are mm-hmm. eating consuming food it is going to nourish you so make sure mm-hmm. you are not distracted by some heavy stimulus again you know you are either listening something soothing or it, if it's a good family time it's very good yes, and yes. chew your food nicely they say na mm-hmm. ki, parents used to say chew your food 25 times yes, yes, so yes, literally yes. you should follow that so chew your mm-hmm. food nicely because then you are doing the digestion half of the you know 25 30% digestion here itself and the rest of the body will do less of the work because as soon as your body is not in a digestion mode it is in a repair mode so we mm-hmm. need to help our body and then when you are drinking water tip for that also mm-hmm. when you are drinking water make sure you are sitting down and then drinking water you are not just Why gulping it water it Why because it when you are no there is a science behind because they say when you uh, take the water you know so nowadays people drink water from like this you know they yes. don't even yeah, so then <laughs> lot of yeah so we should avoid these kind of practices consciously okay. because this you know this uh, take the air in you know it's uh-huh. not very yeah so it's not very um, helpful it then in mm-hmm. a later stage if you keep doing this practice of drinking water like this and mm-hmm. standing way your mm-hmm. joints will pain your you know all these things gives you a later on a very uh, damage you know the damage mm-hmm. will not be immediately so that's why be aware do these small little practices that yeah. you're sitting down and drinking water drink water sip by sip don't gulp it out you know so sip mm-hmm. by sip because the the main aim of the water should be like we take a saliva inside because when the saliva goes inside it does lot of magical work by you know the oh. inside so we need to drink sip by sip not just gulping down so all these okay. small little things are just mm-hmm. a practice which uh, we keep giving our reminder and then it is it can do wonders i'm learning yes. a lot <laughs> thank you so much the small, the small practices can give you big results so these mm-hmm. are the small small little practices small, small little do. practices yeah yeah it makes yes. a difference as a mom How does practicing a holistic lifestyle help you? As a mom, oh, quite mm. a lot, you know, <laughs> quite a lot. Because you know, I feel when I'm more mindful, I'm more calmer, I'm mm-hmm. more relaxed, and then mm-hmm. I deal with my like I've got a teenage. Uh, he's not a grown-up adult now, no more a teenager. <laughs> He'll be twenty. <laughs> so you know, then you're dealing with your child with more awareness, and mm-hmm. you let them. you let them grow with their own pace you know mm-hmm. you take a back step because then you know where to where to go back and where to step in you know mm-hmm. so as, especially when the kids grow up when they are little of course you have to step in but when you are yes. stepping in you are not stepping in with a bad energy or with a uh, with a panic energy you know whenever yes. we are entering to the problem or any situation mm-hmm. with a panic energy 
we are actually not doing any good we are doing harm so mm. you know you understand so it's yes, like better exactly. when whenever you are trying to deal with a kid you have to have an, a beautiful energy and then you are dealing mm. with their problems then mm. you because you know main aim of the as a parent is that whatever we want that we want to convey to the kid you know yes, so if yes, yes. kid is ready and receptive to learn then only they will you know they will receive and we are like that punches yeah. yes. getting whatever it give us that yes. <laughs> they're very fast learners they are very quick learner first of all they are very quick learner so then they are yeah. more in a receiving end they will not take yeah. shunny off you oh, you are just talking we will not listen to you they know that my when my mother or when my father is telling me something and they are in a good energy because they say words reaches later on but the your energy reaches first so if you are mm-hmm. in a calm if you are in a good energy positive energy mm-hmm. that will reach radiate to the kid and then whatever mm-hmm. you are conveying that will mm-hmm. make sense to yeah. them as well yes mm-hmm. so that Very helps good. me quite a lot that helps me quite a lot i let them grow now he's grown up so i leave him i don't panic i tell him he can take his own decisions just mm-hmm. keep it uh, keep us you know and let them fall let them uh, make wrong mistakes uh, they yeah, let them yeah, make mistakes important. yeah very important <laughs> yes don't get yes, panic yes. with their mistakes let them make mistakes because mistakes mm-hmm. i feel whatever the success teaches you more than that the failure teaches you you know yes exactly you know, <laughs> i always tell my daughters uh everything is hard i i i try to fix that that thing in their mind whatever if they feel frustrated i straight away tell them tell me something that isn't hard <laughs> then that's very okay. important very good thing you are doing yeah we should mm-hmm. teach them how to fail also we should teach them mm-hmm. how to you know it's okay to not have all the solutions you know it's yes, okay to yes, step yes. back yeah we mm-hmm. have to teach them this also this one very is important. where they learn more <laughs> okay would you encourage your daughters to have a holistic lifestyle as well i think yes daughters <laughs> and, and sons uh, <laughs> daughters and sons <laughs> And how do you think would it affect their mindset as they grow up? Yes, I'll definitely encourage all the young ones. That's why you know, as I shared with you, this was yes, just yes. in my head that I wanted to uh, start a boot camp for the youngsters. Mm-hmm. Be it my son or a girl or a boy, mm-hmm. you know, everybody needs that mm-hmm. because this, in the long run, can make them more powerful. you know the, mm-hmm. the strength from inside that yes i can take decision yes i can survive in a very beautiful way you know mm-hmm. because i think that is very important jini math science everything they are learning in school they will learn that yeah. but who will yes. teach them to be a uh, in one with the you know to be connected with their own core so i think yeah. holistic lifestyle teaches you and it empowers you from within you know you mm-hmm. get that strong gut feeling you get that intuition strong intuition you get that mm-hmm. beautiful thoughts coming radiating mm-hmm. from your head you become positive so all these things who will teach them so mm-hmm. i think the holistic lifestyle approach teaches a, make a kid ready for the beautiful uh, future so mm-hmm. definitely i would love my son my daughter because my son is practicing few, few things because right now mm-hmm. he's in the same age where he's resisting but you know sometime you know oh mama you know i'm having little cold can you give me your jalniti pot then he does his jalniti you know <laughs> so he is doing it so i know this is not the right time that they are ready okay they are going to do mm-hmm. with the flow like like now i am like doing with the flow and i feel it is it is part of me you know i i yeah, it's yeah. like it's like breathing i have to do that you know all these practices mm-hmm. but for mm-hmm. the kids when they are in a learning stage they are resisting yeah. you know so that mm-hmm. is not still installed in their discipline but slowly 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 when they grow up they learn mm-hmm. more they are more aware then they become like these things become their practice as well right yes so yes, definitely exactly. i would yeah so that's why my this boot camp for the kids is like mm-hmm. still on in my head and i want to work it out as soon as the singapore open properly yeah. hopefully and we can have yes we can go be positive yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. so so 
as soon as you introduce these kind of practices to them mm-hmm. they will be a beautiful human being a whole wholesome human being with a strong mm-hmm. s- will power and strong uh, uh, intuitions and strong positive mm-hmm. attitude very nice <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah. for our last question uh, do you think a, a living a holistic lifestyle plays a positive role in your life as part of your self care what do you think jenny now you i think i'm I almost uh, explain everything what do you think <laughs> so definitely i feel if they are leading a holistic lifestyle it mm-hmm. is a beautiful self care uh you know as i said self care is needed because you want to be completely happy mm-hmm. and you want to radiate that happiness to others mm-hmm. so holistic lifestyle practices are a beautiful way to take care of yourself in mm-hmm. such a way that you are so positive you are refreshing refreshing your mind you are filling your mind with positivity with a good health mind mm-hmm. as i said holistic life is is a is a balance between your body mind body. and your spirit yeah. so mm-hmm. it's a well balanced life it's a wholesome mm-hmm. life and mm-hmm. the plus point is the key point is holistic life only goes with a mindfulness so you are leading mm-hmm. your life but with more awareness more yeah. uh, consciously you are you know and you are consciously um, doing things doing things enjoying things yeah. i feel mm-hmm. when you are enjoying life more you know whatever if like mm-hmm. if i'm eating something i'm eating mindfully mm-hmm. i'm eating slowly as the holistic lifestyle mm-hmm. practices say that eat slow mm-hmm. so i mm-hmm. am getting the real nutrition value the juices the flavor of the thing isn't it mm-hmm. yes 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 cut to if you if i'm just gulping the thing you know oh i have just 10 minutes to to to, to, to eat and finish i have not yes. even tasted the real food i have not even had the flavor you know so it was just yeah. a waste you are like filling your stomach with the garbage and then garbage uh-huh. in the sense like uh, you have not d- done the digestion you have not taken the flavor and just filled your body and you feel that you are uh-huh. doing a dutiful that you are feeding your body food uh-huh. actually it's it's not doing mm, not very really. good. yeah it will not do yeah. it won't do that uh beautiful work which it can do when you're doing it consciously when you're doing it mindfully mm-hmm. when you're taking mm-hmm. the flavor and enjoying the moments and enjoying the food then mm-hmm. the food will go inside and then does it magic you know the growth mm-hmm. and nutrition it will you know those things really matters a lot so this was just an yeah, example yeah. so self care mm-hmm. is a beautiful thing like a uh, holistic lifestyle teaches you to take care of yourself completely whole something mm-hmm. thank you so much for sh- this very informative sharing <laughs> i'm i'm and absolutely uh, humbled to uh, be here mm-hmm. and to share all this mm-hmm. jenny our youtube channel maybe you would like to invite our viewers yes 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 so mm-hmm. please uh, all the viewers whoever are watching please visit my youtube channel there i have made the detailed video of jalniti so that whole thing i have shown in jalniti and uh, mm-hmm. please practice that and if you have any doubts you can dm me in instagram and uh, second i have made a video on oil pulling oil pulling is also known as gut cleansing practice and i made a very detailed video on this practice because i endorse this practice to everyone as this is a cleansing technique which is easy and simple to do for your dental health for your gut health so go to my channel watch now in a simplest way why you need oil pulling at my channel there are some interesting road trips travel vlogs i'm sure you will enjoy watching that then there are some nice beauty tips and tricks sustainable beauty hacks like how to apply moisturizer how to apply sunscreen or something like 2 minute ice mm-hmm. facial <laughs> so watch mm-hmm. those uh, videos in a uh, uh, youtube and my mm-hmm. youtube channel is happiness with hema this also jenny yeah. i have uh, asked my all instagram family only what name i should keep to my channel because my channel is just 2 months old it's not that oh. old <laughs> yes uh-huh. so everybody suggested uh, very different different names but then we finalized yes. happiness with hema because it's you know, a very I nice lived, title uh, very nice one. I, started, i started this instagram page only my, keeping this in mind that i want to spread happiness you know because happiness mm-hmm. is 
yeah what i they say you know what i am filled with i want to give it to others right and yes yes holistic lifestyle is one part of that very important part mm-hmm. of you know that which you know so i started with the, all these so my first video was yeah. jal niti then oil pulling i explained that when then i made a oil pulling part 2 where i explain that when the oil is in your mouth what all activities you can indulge in you can indulge in mm-hmm. gardening you can indulge in cooking means you can do two tasks and uh, take care of yourself as well then mm-hmm. i have made uh, many videos entertaining videos please go and visit and uh, have fun <laughs> watching all those <laughs> okay thank you so much for that so there you have it our third episode of women self care series i hope you guys uh, enjoyed our our guest for today hema thank you so much once again my pleasure jenny and i really enjoyed the show mm-hmm. and i'm very happy you are doing very good job by you know introducing people to self care and yes, it's yes. very important look mm-hmm. after yourself yes before yes i would look that. after look after before we want to look after other people we may must look after ourselves it's mm-hmm. very important mm-hmm. right thank you so much okay, okay bye okay jenny bye and thank you bye. everyone